So this is the scene at the moment. We're live here at Standing Rock. Uh, we got this gentleman uh, putting up a flag. Joe De Palma, Iraqi vet. Joe De Palma. Yes, sir. Is that your name? Yep. Okay. Iraqi vet, you said? Uh, yeah. Oh, I have vet. Uh, oh, seven, oh, yeah. Oh, six to oh eight. Right. For my combat tour, anyways. You got any statements to make? What they're doing to these people is wrong. Our government should not be privatized, used, you know, to fund oil companies. You know, I, I didn't have a strong belief in, you know, any of this native culture, but these people, this is their sacred land. And what our government is just so wrong. I can't stand here and see that happen to other Americans. You know, I just, on a whim, came up here to show my support. And, you know, I just can't, I can't stand for this. I'm not going to sit at home in my warm bed, but there's innocent people getting hurt by our government. That's really all I got, brother. That's, that's all right. Uh, so, uh, wh what happens next? When do the uh, the rest of the veterans march down? Ah, uh, I mean, I hear the big showdowns tomorrow. You know, sorry, I'm just trying to get this thing stuck uh, somewhere. Update. Yeah. yeah, I got my duck. Yeah, I mean, the big one's supposed to be tomorrow, guys. You know, so I would really like to see Here, so, some of these. Uh, I would like to see a show of force or not force presence. You know, from our veterans today. Even if it's smaller noops, uh, you know, smaller numbers, um, just to show these guys are here, and then tomorrow we'll do the big one, you know. But I think if we show some action today by showing that our support for these people, I think that'll be good, you know. And then we'll just keep doing it over and over and over until they realize we're not going anywhere. These people aren't going anywhere. This is their home. So I, w I was here on that Sunday night and uh, filming on the front lines when wow. they were shooting multiple That's rubber amazing. bullets. I yeah. saw them shoot people in prayer, uh, two people kneeling in prayer, they shot them execution style. Yeah. And with rubber bullets, it wasn't live rounds. Uh, what what do you plan to do or, or what do you anticipate happening if if that happens again? I don't I don't see I don't see the vet stand for it. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for people, you know. I just don't know. But I just know there's a lot of people here that aren't going to let our government you know uh, uh, walk on the citizens you know just I don't I don't see it happening I don't know what's gonna happen but I can't see it you know continuing okay, for much longer All right, John, I so, so would you that would probably be through new negotiation you think yeah why don't you try in the pipe there the yeah. pipe might work just like that metal for life. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm not the best speaker. You that's know? all right. You're out here yeah. doing the action. That's so that's what's important. Okay. Good. And people are already sharing it, so people are seeing what's happening. Good. Good. That's, and that's the reason I came out here today, or, you know, a couple days ago. Just so that way I could take it back home to Athens, Ohio, and let them know because I had so many people Ask me, what are you going to North Dakota for? What's in North Dakota? You going on vacation, stay warm. No, no, I'm going there to help people, you know? People just don't know. It's, it's not being covered, so I just want to do my part and to share it with the folks who don't know what's going on here. Because what if this was, what if this is my town, Athens? This is, what if this is my small hometown? And this company came in and wanted to put, you know, a pipeline through my river, where we get our water, where we do our fishing, you know, and, and then that breaks. We, as white people and the regular American citizens, you know, it doesn't matter. We, we wouldn't want that either. Screw Native American things, screw black, white, Asian. It's an American thing. Stand up for the rights, you know? Right on. So, it's not a matter of if it breaks, it's when it breaks. Exactly. They, they allow for one and a half, one and a half percent leakage. And with 500,000 gallons going through a day, that means it's going to spill. It just leaks. A lot. And uh, that tar sands, they thin it down with a Molotov cocktail of poison. It's 82% more poisonous than regular oil. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're so well informed, man. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And, uh, you know, and, and this river just doesn't supply supply the Native Americans here. It goes down in the Missouri into where everyday people are living as well, you know? Families. <laughs> they, they aren't thinking about that. There's so much more to this than just the wonderful Native Americans here. You know, there's so much more to it. Thank you so much. Bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, be good. Yeah. I'm
Joe. Well, yeah, you got that. Yeah, one. I know. <laughs> okay. Cool.